everyone, so this is going to be a bit of a different video. I've never really done a Dokkan video before other than the two giveaways that I've done. But a lot of you were saying that you do want to see some Dokkan videos and I really do want to make some, so let's start out with this one. Now that we pretty much know everything that's happening in part 2 of the 300 million download celebration, it might be a little bit soon, but I'm going to try to predict what I think will happen next up until around the 5th year anniversary. And in case you couldn't tell, I'm going to go with a little different format for this video and kind of ad-lib stuff. Normally I'd script discussion videos, but this is a little bit different and I want to try just ad-libbing it. It feels more natural for this kind of video. Anyways, let's start with what I think will happen first. I think first that there's going to be some new story events. I mean, obviously there's going to be a filler banner or two, because they don't want to do another Dokkan Fest right after the 300 million download celebration, but I feel first we'll get some story events. One of them I feel that is pretty much guaranteed, a Saiyaman Saga one. Because it seems like the Japanese version at least is going in the order of the actual story, it's chronological. And obviously now that we're done with the Cell Saga, the natural next thing to do is the Saiyaman Saga. Unless they want to do something about the other world, but I don't feel like there's enough for them to do a whole story event for that. Maybe that could be one of the filler banners, just an other world summon, like it'll have Pycon, Angel Goku, some stuff like that I guess. But for the story event, I feel we're going to get a new card with that at least, and it's going to be a TUR Great Saiyaman, and obviously it's a farmable free-to-play one that's going to be part of that event. We haven't really gotten any sort of Saiyaman cards in a while, and this is a free-to-play one too, so I feel this will be a really nice one to have, and it seems pretty likely. And then I feel with that, they're going to do a second story event, which will be the latter half of the Saiyaman saga that leads up until the tournament, but I don't think it'll fully go through the tournament, probably up until everyone just leaves midway through. And that'll probably be a second story event that comes out after that. And with story events, we're getting a lot more of the free-to-play cards more often, like you saw Yardrat Goku, there was the Goku and Gohan, and the Vegeta and Trunks one that we just got. So it's pretty safe to say that if they did a tournament one as well, we'd get another one. And for that, I feel it'll probably be a Videl card, because that matches with the Saiyaman one, and really, I don't think they'd do any other character except possibly Shin or Kibito, which are entirely possible, but I feel like Videl would be more likely if they ended up going through with that. And since we're going in order with the story, the next thing that I feel they do is the Dokkan Fest for Majin Vegeta. For Majin Vegeta, we already had that one that got the Dokkan Awakening for 4 year anniversary, and we have the LR one, as well as that one EZA for the Tech one, but we've never actually gotten a Dokkan Fest Majin Vegeta. I remember a while back hearing some rumors about a Majin Vegeta Dokkan Fest, and I honestly think that'll be pretty possible here, especially now that they're done with the Cell Saga. For all we know, they could do a dual Dokkan Fest with an Angel Goku card as the other one, but I think it's too soon for them to do a dual one. That's my personal opinion, they could end up doing that, but I don't really see them doing that. But if they did, it would definitely be an Angel Goku on one of them and then a Majin Vegeta on another. For some of the unfeatured cards, we'll probably end up getting something like a new Deborah card, that would be a TUR, and he'd be featured on the banner, but he wouldn't be a Dokkan Fest exclusive. And maybe they'd end up doing one more card, like a Shin card or a Shin and Kibito card, just as something else to feature, but something that's not going to be a Dokkan Fest card. I feel like Deborah is the most likely one though, and he'd probably be a nice support card. This stuff I predict will happen around November because the current 300 mil celebration is going on until early October, and then they could put a filler one through mid-October, so maybe late October, early November we'd get this Majin Vegeta celebration. After this, this is when I feel like we'll have a duel fest, and of course it's going to continue the Buu Saga. First some story events, possibly one that would end up revolving around the fusion arc, when Gotenks is first introduced and then his fight with Buu, and we could get a new free-to-play Gotenks, or Goten and Trunks card that fuses into Gotenks. This would be a free-to-play card, and it would probably be some sort of fusion support, but given how good the free-to-play cards are getting, anything they give us will end up being a good card. And that story event would happen during whatever filler we have until this next Dokkan Fest. Maybe the filler banner here would be a legendary summon for the Mighty Mask LR, because it fits in with the story and it acts as a good filler since it's some card that was already out a while ago. After that story event, that's when we actually get into the Dokkan Fest. First, we get a story event or two that ends up finishing Dragon Ball Z. And if they gave us a free-to-play card here, it would probably be something like a Spirit Bomb Goku or maybe an Oob card. Since those both fit in well and those are cards that could be nice ones to have as free-to-play. As for the banners themselves, it's pretty straightforward. For the Super one, we'd get a new base Vegito card. Not a Super Vegito since we already got one of those for the Dokkan Fest, he'd probably be featured on there. But they'd probably do a new base Vegito card because we don't really have one that's exceptionally good. 
and he could be transforming like one that turns into Super Vegito, that would be a nice touch. As the non-exclusive cards on the banner, a good one that would fit would probably be a Dende and Mr. Satan card. I know it's kind of an odd choice, but it seems like something Dokkan would do. And they can act as some sort of support unit. And another one out of left field would probably be a Tien card. And I'll cover that in a bit, because I know that's kind of out of left field, but I have a reasoning to back it up. For the extreme banner, it would obviously be a Boo card. But I think it would be a Fat Boo that transforms into Super Boo in all of his forms, one that works like the Frieza, Goku, and Vegeta cards that transform. It would probably have the same amount of transformations as them, and it fits because we have two Super cards that transform like that, but only one extreme one, at least one that has that whole line of transformations, and the Boo one would fit really well with that. For the non-exclusive cards, there's a few options that they could do here. One of them would probably be a Super Boo that's Piccolo absorbed, since that kind of Boo doesn't really get any sort of representation in the game. We have some Boo tanks, we have some Boo Hans, but none of Boo Pinks. Yeah, that's one of his actual nicknames. Pretty funny. But he could be one of the non-exclusive cards that would be on that banner. And along with that, it could also be a Boo Tanks card. I'd say one of those would be a good bet. And they could do a second one, and it would probably be something like Bobbity, since that one would fit best for the latter half of the Boo Saga. I would think these banners would be kind of structured like the movie banners that we just had with Gogeta and Broly, where we'd get an exclusive unit on each banner, and then two non-exclusive units that are behind that. And that would finish off the Boo Saga, and along with that we have the story events that finish off Z as a whole, and probably go into the end of Z. And this is all assuming they follow stuff in chronological order, which it seems like they're doing, they could have just been doing that for the 300 mil, but they've been doing it for so long that I don't feel like that it was just for that. Like, they've been continuing that ever since that transforming Super Saiyan Goku from Namek came out. But there's one more thing that I want to bring up. I think we'll get a new LR, a legendary summon for LR Ultimate Gohan. If you guys remember the legendary election, just look there and you'll see we've already got some of the cards that got elected on there. And if you look, one of the cards on there that we haven't gotten yet is Ultimate Gohan. And it seems like they've been slowly adding cards that were on here, so this is probably a likely one. There also is Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, but I feel the safest bet for an LR if they did one would be Ultimate Gohan. Because if you look at LR, Goten, and Trunks, they technically could count as a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks already. Because in one of their super attacks, they actually transform into him, and that's probably what they had for their idea of an LR Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. I could be wrong, they could end up doing that and do a top legendary summon that has two LRs. But maybe not. I think the safest thing to say is that we'll get an LR Ultimate Gohan, and he could be the new hybrid Saiyans lead that phases out that STR Ultimate Gohan that we already have, since he really isn't that good anymore. People have wanted this for a while, and I feel like they would end up adding this to the game. And after that, we'd have stuff like Christmas, New Year's, and then whatever filler they have in between, and then that leads up to the five-year anniversary. And even though I guess the Christmas and New Year's celebrations don't really count as filler, I think there's enough in between the Vegito and Boo Dokkan Fest and the five-year anniversary that I feel it's okay to assume that the Vegito and Boo one would happen as a duel fest. Because obviously, the anniversary one is going to be a duel fest. If you look at the free cards they give us for the anniversaries, there's obviously a pattern. It goes Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, and 4. And obviously, there's no Super Saiyan 5, unless you want to theme the celebration after Dragon Ball AF and have Zykor and Super Saiyan 5 Goku. Oh my god. Imagine if they actually did that. No, but jokes aside, I think the next natural thing to do is a god key one, since there's no Super Saiyan 5 obviously, but the next form that they could do for a free card would be Super Saiyan God, I think. And we'd get some new story events revolving around Battle of Gods, and just those early parts of Dragon Ball Super, and probably a raid event revolving around Beerus. So the three banners I feel we're gonna get, a legendary summon one that has a new LR God Goku, potentially one that involves the ritual and has him transform into Super Saiyan God, and then for the actual duel fest, I think the two LRs that we'd end up getting are a Vegito Blue and a Gogeta Blue. I know they don't fit the time, in terms of like the chronological order, but they fit the God theme. And this is what a lot of people have been suggesting and predicting. We already do have an LR Vegito Blue, but he's a free-to-play one, he's completely different from what a Dokkan Fest one would be. And as for Gogeta, we only have two cards of the new Gogeta, one being the base one and then the Super Saiyan one that does turn blue but we don't have an actual blue Gogeta. And this would be the perfect opportunity to introduce him, and a new Vegito Blue since we haven't gotten one of those in a while. But there would be a nice twist to these, they're not just going to be LR Gogeta and LR Vegito Blue. I feel like they could act like the LR fusions that we already have. Except for the Vegito one, they could start out in base, like how they are in the Future Saga when they're about to fuse, and they're all beaten up. And then for the Gogeta one, 
It could be from when Vegeta and Goku are both in blue and they're fighting Broly and trying to escape. And then after that, they transform into Gogeta. Because yeah, they could make it so that they're both blue, but I doubt they'd do something like that, because with the last LR fusions, it was Angel Goku and Vegeta, and then just regular Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. This way it allows you to run all four cards together if you wanted, which would be insane. But you could do that. Or at the very least, you'd be able to run those two new cards together. They wouldn't make them both the same, just Goku and Vegeta blue. And obviously, like I said, the new LR banner. We get the ritual God Goku, and maybe a new LR Beerus. We already do have LR Beerus, but it's Beerus and Whis technically, we don't have a solo Beerus. And since they usually bring in two cards for the top legendary summon that they have in the anniversaries or the 300 million celebration, that would be a nice one to do as the second LR. And yeah, I think that's a good spot to end off my predictions for now, because I really don't know what would happen after that. They could keep going chronological, or they could just completely do 180 and go back to Dragon Ball Z. I just feel like at least they're going to end up doing a God Key celebration for year 5. And with these predictions that I have, it leads up to it nicely in a nice chronological order. So to summarize, we'd be getting a bunch of new story events and free-to-play cards, since they really like to give those out now. And we'd end up getting a few Dokkan Fest banners, Majin Vegeta, then a dual Dokkan Fest between Vegito and Boo, and then a dual one with Vegito and Gogeta, and we get some legendary summons with Ultimate Gohan, and then one for the 5 year anniversary with Godku and a new Beerus card. But who knows, they could do anything. This is just a prediction video, it's obviously not a leak, and it's not what I personally want, but I feel like they're going to end up doing it, and I think it would be pretty cool if they ended up doing it. I'm just predicting what I think would happen based on past events. So how about you guys? What do you think is going to happen after the 300 million celebration ends? Do you think they'll keep going in chronological order, or will they just do stuff completely randomly? Let me know in the comments below what you think will happen, as well as what you want to happen. It'll be interesting to see people's predictions and opinions. Like always, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, as well as hitting the bell icon for notifications about future videos that I make, since I'm going to be making a lot more Dokkan content in the future. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.